Okay, here's a demo on how to create a custom racetrack in Race Capture. So you launch the app, make sure it connects over Bluetooth or whatever, and then go to Setup. Then you would go over to Racetracks. I already selected it here. So you go Setup, App Preferences, Racetracks at the top menu. Turn off Automatic Racetrack Detection because you're not near any known racetracks. You're presumably in some large parking lot or on a city street or whatever. And then you would press plus here to create a racetrack. So you would choose a circuit track and then it says go to the start line and press start. So drive up to where you want your start finish point to be, press start. And then what you can do is hit finish right away, which will just you make a simple track map with a single start finish point. So when you do that, you will just drive through it and then uh, drive you know 20 seconds away. Make sure you drive a, a good distance away from the start finish point, you know, a few hundred feet. Do whatever um, thing you want to do in the parking lot and then just come back to that start finish point, drive through it. Do, repeat the same maneuver as if it was on a real racetrack. Just pretend, obviously, use your imagination, and then keep going through the same start finish point several times, and then that will create a number of laps that you'll be able to see in the analysis view, and then, of course, export. So going back to this screen, it says confirm there's no track map. Create a minimal track with just start finish defined. OK, and then hit next, and then you give it a name, and then finish. So I had some uh, drift here, so because the GPS just fired up and I'm sitting here in my house. You can ignore that. Um, but it just has a single start finish point. And then when you're done, hit right. And at the top, it'll have the name of the track that you created here at the top. And then uh, you can hit the menu, go to dashboard, select this view for the, uh, the dashboard that shows the lap time, the predictive time, and then just start driving in a circuit through that start finish point you've created. When you are done, you can go into analysis and then you'll see uh, a list of sessions. You'll have a session in there that represents the uh, thing you just completed after you came to a stop. And then once you export it to the device, you can send that an email or connect over USB and do a file transfer.